SCDP. Thank you, House Chair. House Chair, South Africa, like many other countries, suffers from the scourge of alcohol and drug abuse. And according to the National Drug Master Plan, the world drug problem and response continue to present challenges to the health, safety, and well being of people in South Africa. South Africa has become a consumer, producer, and transit country for drugs. Socioeconomic factors such as poverty, inequality, and unemployment remain key contributing elements to the increased use of drugs and the development of substance use disorders. And this act plays a key role in the fight against drug abuse, drug trafficking, and the like. However, in the matter of Jason Smith versus Minister of, Constitution, of Justice and Constitutional Development, certain sections of this act were struck down as being invalid in as much as it purports to delegate plenary legislative powers to the minister. And this clearly is untenable. The result of this striking down two years ago was that should parliament not remedy the defect by 17 December, all prosecutions and arrests of drug-related matters from the date of the judgment would be in jeopardy. Now the question arises why it took so long for the matter to come to Parliament. We dealt with this urgent piece of legislation in one month. And I want to commend the chairperson of the Justice Portfolio Committee and the members. We held public hearings in the space of this one month of September, and the bill was dealt with. Had we not dealt with it and had, and looking forward, if the NCOP doesn't deal with it and the president doesn't sign it into law, it will have drastic implications as there are, there's a gap in the law and there are no read-in provisions. And we trust and we know that this will be done by the 17th of December. This highlights the need for speedy responses to constitutional court judgments. And this is an issue which we from the ACDP have continuously raised in the WIPS forums, in the programming committees, and I'm pleased that mechanisms have been put in place in Parliament to ensure this does not happen and that we are alerted early when constitutional court judgments are given against Parliament. Let us bring in mind the New Nation Movement, which indicated that it says in the paragraph 62, Parliament awaited the minister's introduction of the bill. When it was long delayed, Parliament should have taken steps to introduce a bill without reliance on the minister. Parliament could have, and indeed should have, introduced a bill itself. Compliance with this court's order rests with Parliament. So I think we, have, we, we are progressing in this regard, but there's a lot more need to be done to ensure that we uphold constitutional court judgments and deadlines. The ACDP supports this bill. I thank you. Thank you very much, Honourable Member.